Really? <laughs> no way. But dude, you know how mama is. And <laughs> yes, this is a trip too. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> she did what? I'm dead. <laughs> well, look, that's a good thing. <laughs> anyway, how's the kids like the new house? <laughs> well, that's good. You know, with that new baby on the way, you definitely need more room. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Who? Bryce. Oh, uh, uh, Bryce? No, 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 nothing's wrong. Bryce is... Bryce, is that what? Yeah, you know, you know, you know, he's never here. Um, but I, you know, bro, I got a lot of work I need to catch up on. So can I call you later? <laughs> All right. Okay. Love you. Bye. When are you going to tell your family the truth? No time soon. You know how my family is, and I'm not trying to get my brother worked up again. They're going to find that eventually. Well, eventually it's not today, Chris. Let it go. Marcus. Let it go, Chris. Let what go? Mm -hmm. You know, I just... I... What? Nothing I feel like talking about. Okay. Anyway, I feel like cooking tonight. I'm going to invite some people over. Is it somebody's birthday? No. I look at you guys as family. And I want to spend as much time with y'all as I can before I move. Oh. Well, that's sweet, no, but does it have to be tonight? I have a date. Mm -hmm. A date with who? Girl from the taco truck. No, no way. way. Oh, yeah. After I left here the other day, ran into her and we just headed off. Been chatting all week. I feel something. <laughs> I feel it coming. Josh, I'm so proud of you. You're going out. Well, I'm going to those with a quickie mark. Bye, dinner. See ya. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to remember he got work today. Probably not. <laughs> well, congratulations, Josh, man. I'm really happy for you. Appreciate it, bro. Well, I guess I should go ready, too. For what? For the interview today. I texted you like two days ago. You said you were taking me. Bro, I'm so sorry, man. I can't take you today. Wait, why not? Because I'm spending the whole day with the Tessa. Okay, well, can you just drop me off on your way? No, because I don't want to be late, man. Oh, wow. Well, you wouldn't be late if you remembered. Did you remember to put a good word in for me? Josh. Bro, I'm sorry. You, you'll be fine. You're going to get the job, I swear. Josh, you know how hard it's been for me to find a job. Bro, I understand that, but I'm not your damn taxi. You know what, Fields? Every time I think you're changing, you show me you're still an ass. Yeah? Ass with a date? Go to hell. You know what, Handlebars? Take your drama queen ass somewhere else. Trevor? Good morning, Miss Fields. You did call Bryce like I asked you to. Yes, ma'am. He said he'd give you a call this afternoon instead of the meeting time. I will let you know as soon as he calls. Good morning. I need to speak to Kelsey Fields. Miss Fields is quite busy today. Can I set you up an appointment? I was asked to speak with her about an ongoing business matter with my ex and I. Your name, please? Bryce Handles. Follow me. Miss Fields. Mr. Handles. <laughs> I don't like formalities. Come sleep on me, Bryce. All right, Bryce. Thanks for coming. Please have a seat. So, a lawyer, huh? You're always a bit of a stickler. So, did my husband come running to you? No, but I will be representing your ex-husband during this whole fiasco. Look, he doesn't need your help. But I beg to differ. You seem to have a manipulative hold over Marcus, especially when you two are alone. But he's not alone anymore. He was never alone. He had me. Mm, he had you while you had the rest of the neighborhood. 
<laughs> I cheated once, and only once. It was a mistake. Regardless, you're lucky that Marcus didn't sign a prenuptial agreement. But I still have a few questions for you. Should I call my lawyer? You can if you'd like, but I wouldn't bring that clock to court if I were you. Why? Not only do I do my research on the clients in the case, but the lawyer is the key component, and his management is, how do I say this without sounding rude, shitty. <laughs> he won my case. He won because Marcus didn't hire a higher lawyer himself. How did you know that? Research. May we continue? Yeah. Go ahead. Ask whatever you want. Trevor, come in here, please. <laughs> you need backup. It's for your protection. Trust me, you'll thank me for being here. She's kind of scary when she's mad. That's your mad face. Let's start with how long Marcus was the sole proprietor of Handel's Coding. Wow, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Do you need a hint? No. You started senior year of high school? No, when did it start to show capital gain? Well, he was making all kind of money during freshman year of college. I remember he came to my dorm room to fix something that was going on with my computer. I didn't even notice it was him until he walked through the door. Cute. Moving forward, can you tell me how long you guys have been married? Or when you got married? Oh, we got married college graduation. Right after college graduation. They just made gay marriages legal. And, oh, we were living out in Texas. Woo! Then we had to drive to another state just to get our marriage licenses. All that work. Just a good divorce. Yeah, I'm a fool. You said it. Where's all this leading to? This, Bryce. See, Marcus started the company four years, seven months, and 22 years prior to your guys' marriage. This is when the company showed its stabilization and growth before you guys even said I do. And what's your point? My point is that that five years in prenuptial law solely belongs to Marcus. And if Trevor's calculations are correct... And they always are. Which they always are, that measly 20% that you said you'd give Marcus would be the lowest that you would owe him after you sell the company. I think I need to call my lawyer. Go ahead. I'll live long day. I'll live long day. I'll be moving along, singing my song. Running around, ain't nothing wrong. Ah, 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 I'll live long day. I said, ah. She's on, she wants to move Looking for trouble, honey, is it you? Feel the world under her feet All the cracks up in the concrete Take a step back, she's coming through Baby looking shady, she's on the run I see, you know. <laughs> I see you. What? I'm just in the of you, that's all. I don't see Sunny, Sarah, Megan, or Whoopi nowhere. Look, it was a pressing issue. Pressing against some tight cloth. Boy, <laughs> that is my brother. And that's the only reason why I have it. Having what? <laughs> Trent? Trent? Morning, brother. Morning, Kevon. <laughs> this place is clean. No schemes. What have you done with my brother? I have taken my brother. That's from my leg. Come on. True. Infiltrate the medical. Just true. Back here. Now, take me to your leader. <laughs> if you don't take your simple butt back to work. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <sighs> this is your job. You had one job. That's it. I'm done. You're fired. I'm calling a new lawyer. Stupid. How'd that work for you? You are as good as they say you are. No. I'm better. Even if you have this right now, I still own the company outright. See, that's where you're wrong. Now, where were we? Hey there, Chris. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. Selling in just fine. I am. Thank you. 
This office is in such disarray. I have to tell Dr. Johnson to put some money into this place. <laughs> you know what? That's gonna get confusing. Just call me Alex for now. <laughs> Where does all his money go? To hell, bye now. Does anybody have the key to Demise's office? Office? Who's she stole that from? An exam room. Uh, now you know where all of his money goes. Huh. Nobody has a key but her. And why does she need an office? That's the question. <laughs> well, Denise no longer has an office. We have patients in more need than her. Okay. Thank you. Right. Okay, Miss Copeland. Good morning. So you've been complaining of a little slight weight gain, dizziness, and nausea? Congratulations. You're pregnant. What? Your chart says you're a virgin. See, y'all made me. Y'all be just fine, girl. Shokumotsu. No, Shokumotsu. Shokumotsu? <laughs> Anana wa ushuku desu. You're adorable. <laughs> Wanna get food? Yeah. Can you give Mrs. Natcher a flu shot? Where's Trent? In the back. Oh, okay. Um, can you have him give Mrs. Natcher a flu shot, please? Gotcha. Oh, and while you're at it, hello. What is this? I look like I just got out of a bad '80s rom-com or something. Or oh, the circus. Okay. <laughs> this is awful. No one's gonna take me seriously wearing that thing. You know what? Can you have him order me a new lab coat, please? I'm on it. Thank you. Also, oh, come on. Yes, madam. Oh, <laughs> you move fast. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for all the hard work you've been doing in this clinic. It's completely clean. It's a pleasure. <laughs> You're doing really good. Oh, <laughs> I'm pleased how hard he's been working too. Almost as if he's trying to impress someone. <laughs> it's not like I'm trying or anything, but <laughs> you are impressed, right? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Oh, and also, I got that new Patriots room unlocked. Do you mind just like vacating all the unnecessary stuff in there? I'm right on it. Thanks. Look at you. Coming in here, taking charge. It's been quite a while since I've done that job myself. <laughs> um, you know what? There's still so much to do around here. <laughs> I'm trying. Look, what are you doing for lunch? I'm about to order some food. Oh, no, Justin's coming. We're uh, going to go do some shopping. Ah, that's what Dr. Johnson has our whole schedule this evening. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we just moved here, so we're getting buying all the fixings for the place. Mm. <laughs> it has been so much fun, but so tiring. Oh, Look <laughs> at the devil. Handsome devil. Good afternoon, guys. Hey. You ready, my queen? We have a lot to get done today. We also have to stop by the bakery for mother. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. Give me a second, I'll go get my things. Okay. Aren't you just a lucky guy? You can say that again. How long have y'all been married? Only a few months. A few amazing months. <laughs> do y'all ever go out? Because if y'all do, y'all be so cute. We used to go out all the time. It's mm. how we met, actually. First time in the club, you meet Miss Wright. Ain't that right, Miss Wright? <laughs> That's right. Oh, before I forget, Kavan needs help moving a desk in the back. You might help. Mm, yeah, of course. Thanks. <sighs> Speaking of club, I know you look familiar. What do you mean? I've been trying to put my finger on it. You were at Club the Club at my birthday party. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about. You were in the corner, tucked away, swirling with the other world. Listen, uh, that didn't happen. 
people. I was never at a club. You didn't see me. I saw you. Didn't see me. What? There are what club is this? Ready. Baby, you went to a club? Huh? Um. You know how you get when you drink and you go to these clubs? How many clubs are you not allowed in? Uh, three. Baby, baby, baby. But a club, the club is a local book club. Yup. Mm -hmm. Yup. Uh huh. And what book are you reading? Uh, one back in Notre Dame. There's a crazy party that you should see it. Read it. <laughs> read it. He meant read it, he baby. Did. He meant read it. So you didn't go to a club. A club? Ba baby, a book club. Book club. But no, I wouldn't do that, honey. I promise. Good, because I don't know if our lawyer could get you out of another one. Oh. I'm the one that will, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, she get that desk move, honey. Actually, she won't let us move it. Oh, really? What did she say? She said if you want the desk that you're going to have to go get it, then she sat on it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, honey. Uh -huh. Um, honey. give me one Miss, second, baby. Don't do this. I, I gotta go bandage Denise. What, what? Hey, bro, was she injured when you were there? Nope. But she's honey, about to be. Stop. Get stop. out of my What you got? Honey, come here. Come on, don't do this. this. Don't do this. Well, this is a dream come true. <laughs> Hello? Preston? Hey, how's it going? Well, still dealing with teachers that I can teach. Still getting in trouble, I see. Well, I am a student. Why are you waiting for the principal? Oh, did someone not graduate high school? <laughs> new, new, new. You are not a teacher yet. You're 18, right? Yeah. You want to make it to 19? Um, yeah. Keep it up. Oh, Marcus. Hey, how'd your interview go? I haven't went in yet. I was just sitting here talking to Preston. How's the house going? Uh, you yeah, know, it's as good as I could hope it to be. We do have these house competitions, and I do get to show off some of my talents. <laughs> well, make sure you invite us to a few. We would love to see you perform. we Will do. Okay, run along, Preston. Or walk, walk, walk along. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm a teacher. It's <laughs> not what I meant, Ike. Aren't you supposed to be in class? Yeah, the kids are with an IA. I came to check my inbox. I'm glad to see you, though. I will be there tonight. What do you mean? Well, Chris texted me and asked me to come to dinner. He said he invited everyone. Oh my god. With all this going on today, I totally forgot. I'm so nervous about this interview. Don't be nervous. You got this. <sighs> Hi, you must be Marcus. I've heard so many good things about you from Amber. Well, they're all true. I'll leave you to your interview. Good luck. If you come with me, we'll get started right away. After you, sir. Oh, you just think you me? And I go do nothing about it? Mercedes? Chris? Hello, <laughs> Hey. What's up, man? <laughs> what you doing? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. But you think I'm just going to let a 200 pound car pump me and I ain't going to do nothing? You are still crazy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not crazy. Right. No, I'm just playing. So, uh, what you doing, fam? That's quite the hit. <laughs> uh, I'm at the grocery store grabbing a few groceries because I'm moving okay. soon. Okay. I want to cook for the you know, people, Chris, Marcus, and oh, Josh. Oh. Uh, so, Marcus? What was that? Yeah, what was that? Because I thought Marcus was in Texas with Bryce. You sure? Yeah. Is everything okay here? Oh, yeah, everything's fine, so thank you. What are you doing here? Waiting for your homies? Is that necessary? Shut up, rookie. Homies? Really? You got a smart mouth on you. Are you on probation or parole? <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to walk home, and no, I'm not on probation or parole. You put the description. There's been a string of break rings in here. And what's the description? Tall and black? Look, I just got hired down the street at the school, and I'm just trying to walk home peacefully. Thank you. You got some ID? Oh, my God. Are you serious right now? Yeah. <sighs> Slowly. I'm just going for my wallet. Don't move. What? Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm just getting my wallet. He's got a gun. I don't have a gun. No. Where's the gun? I don't have a gun. Stop moving. Where's the gun? I don't have a gun. Oh. Hey. 
Marcus was just arrested. He's getting released right now. This could not be happening. I know I'm late, but guess what? I'm alone. Guys? Guys? Now let this go to waste. Yeah. Good. I'm good. Thank you for your concern. But, but I'm good. Anybody else that went on already? I'm good. I promise. I'm good. Good. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that. going on here? Dude, what happened to you? I just want to sit down. I just want to sit down. Please. What ha Guys, what happened to him? Somebody, please talk to me. Guys, guys, come on. Come on, somebody talk to me. Where were you? Weren't you supposed to take him to the interview? I told y'all I had something to do today. Exactly, Josh. All you think about is yourself. No, hold on, that ain't fair. Fair? Is it fair that he's sitting there beat to death, head to toe? Not beat to head to toe, I miss my toes. All you had to do was be a friend and take him to the interview. And if you couldn't, I would. Speaking of which, why didn't you call me? I don't want to bother you, Chris. You're a damn fool, Marcus. Josh, it was so important that you couldn't help him out. I was wrapped up in a date. Oh, and she was so special you couldn't answer your phone? Was the chick worth all of this? It's not like I wanted any of this to happen. Marcus, man, I'm sorry, bro. I'm so sorry, man. If I was there... Dude, none of this is your fault. You were an ass. The only thing you're guilty of is not giving it around. Things like this happen every day, all across the country. Could have been any of us. People just have to stop turning a blind eye to the suffering of others. Where are you going? There's a protest getting ready to start and I'm going to join them. Chris, no, please don't. Now you want to pay attention? I'm not going to sit here and not let anything happen. Chris, please move. Wait. I am not going to move. You are a six foot six, 300 pound black angry man. You dare ride on me. If you go out there, you are a large target. Somebody has to do something. Somebody has to pay for what happened. Josh, if you don't move, Chris, stop! Wait. To have stopped fighting. People have to realize 
that they have stopped turning a blind eye. They should have been in time. And this, this is to me. Guys, something's wrong. Stop! 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 Get the kit! Stop! Dude, panic attacks cause bleeding? No, it's just making it hard to breathe and his stitches is opening up. Josh, get the kit! Far too much pain to be crawling up the stairs, so we have to leave him down here instead. Makes sense. Yeah. Hold on. Hello. Yeah, we're here. Who's here? Marcus! Baby, what the hell happened to you? I remember you. You gave my brother shit all through high school. What are you doing here? You did this? You did this. Hell yeah, he did. 